was tripping around the sea And then I found some gold in the ground I got the fever inside me The first thing I found was a mine with no name Felt good to be high on the green Cause in the mine you can't remember your name So awesome sauce became the claim Everybody. What I've got here is I've got some silver ore. It's hard for you to see, isn't it? Come on, focus. Anyhow, what I'm doing is I'm running it through my pestle mortar. Grind it down a little bit. I'm going to put it through my kiln. I'm going to turn it into something not this. So, give me a minute and I'll be right back with some flux and everything in my crucible I'm ready to go. Alright, so what I've got here is I've got my scale. I'm going to put my way boat right there. I'm going to turn it on. That'll automatically tear, tar it out or however you pronounce the word so that when I put this on I get an actual weight so what I've got there is I've got 13.49 grams of silver I take this silver I'm gonna put it back in there and I'm gonna add about this much flux I'll mix it up pretty well about like that and this is what goes on my crucible sorry about the shakiness there guys so let me put this into here and get started hold on a second now what I've got is 17.49 grams 17.47 17.59 I'll take this and put it directly into the crucible which already has a little bit of flux added to it and now that's about where I want it, not too close to the top. You don't want it to be right at the top, because then you get an overflow out of it. Overflow is bad. So, get this all set up. Be right back. Okay, so this is ready to go. Both light up, I wonder. Let's check. Nope, only one. There you go. Let me rearrange that real quick. Make my tongue. Alright, yeah, that'll work for me. Back this one out a little bit. There we go. Let's see how it does with this a little bit offset. So I'll be back here in a few minutes to see how this is going. 
Rock on, everyone. And after watching how it was burning for a couple of seconds, I prefer it to be centered. Just gives a better swirl, it looks better. But I don't know if you can see what's going on there. The fluxes are starting to heat up and do their expanding and melting. That'll go on for about eh, 10 15 minutes. Hopefully, we'll have something nice looking to pour out here around then. We'll get a final weight and see what it comes out with. Here's one of those things you do also have to watch out for. As your flux heats, it expands. And once in a while, you might have to get in there and give it a little poke or something. Just to make sure that it stays where it needs to be. You want it to kind of pull on the bottom mostly. But sometimes it'll create little air bubbles, I guess you could say, down there. So you poke around at it a little bit. Hopefully not too much sticks to your, your poking rod. that down in there. I see that came off pretty clean that time. And we'll just let this keep heating. It's getting close. Ooh, bucket collapsed. You see it start bubbling. All right, be back in a second. So it's getting close to being ready. It's all pretty liquidy right now. Not quite ready, but it's close. It's got a few more minutes left. Darn it. Don't need that moving too much. Alright, get that back on. I don't know if you can see it bubbling in there. Now it's getting really close there. I'm going to give it a few more stirs before I'm done and then I'll show you guys before. Alright, we're back. And this stuff is ready, so I'm gonna turn these off. And let's see what we got here. That's hot. That's just me backing up. Don't mean to scare you. Alright, so. it all came out of there sometimes you don't get everything out of your crucible poof that's why you set things down on fireproof things but I just like the poof put it back in here now the good thing about a graphite crucible is you can actually usually clean them pretty well I mean it's just you know graphite scrape off that old layer of whatever's stuck to it usually with just some type of metal so what we got here is this this hopefully silver metal which is still looks like it could still be a little molten yeah definitely sorry if that was a little bit loud well we'll wait for it to cool and I'll show you it quenched here in just a second Start hearing it go crackle, crackle. Oh, focus. There we go. Sorry, I'm moving so much there. Focus isn't working great. 
A lot of times you can hear it crackle. This time I'm not. That's all right. It should be good enough to go into the water for quelching, so I'm gonna drop it in now. There we go. All right, now this is in no way a silver that would be considered pure or anything like that, because you know, it hasn't been refined. It's just been run through. A smelter. Now let's see if I can hold this with my the extremity. Now it doesn't look too much like anything there, as you can tell. We'll put it in my hand. Then you flip it over, you can see it's got some metal color to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brush to that real quick and give it a little shine up the other side. It might clean off pretty well. We'll see here soon. Well, it broke because it's got so many impurities in it still. But as you can tell, it's there. And it's the easiest way to get the silver out of something like this would be to crush it up and run it in a nitric solution and then drop it out in crystal form. Then you're going to have a pure silver. It's pretty much the only way you can get pure metals is by chemical you can't get pure metals from fire anyhow i'm done with that that was fun i enjoyed myself i forgot to see what that weighed let's find out that's gonna be a pain in the butt to do that I feel like there's more minerals than just silver in this. Right, so that weighs 12.30. So final weight for this is 12.30, which is not too bad. I didn't lose too much. So it's time to find out exactly what's in this rock now. So it'll go somewhere. It'll tell me. And it'll come back. But. Okay, I'm done. Rock on. Have fun. These kilns are great.